Hey everyone, hello and welcome, Tony Bing here. For this video we will really put our Star Lord build to the test and we'll have a shot at the Cosmic Dimensions Collide event. It's a really tough event. For that reason I have been bringing along a team up when I've been playing it. So it seemed the perfect choice really for a team up was going to be one of the Guardians of the Galaxy. And in game we have Drax, Gamora and also Groot. Uh, Groot's really good, I think he's highly underrated considering he's only 200 splinters and also I've managed to unlock the movie variant of him which looks great so I figured I would go with that. So here we go, this will be Star-Lord versus the Cosmic Dimensions Collide. did take a little while for that to go down there, but as we've mentioned before, this build really does shine when there's lots of enemies grouped together. That was nice and easy. I do find with the mindless titan that he seems to normally focus in on your team up if you have one and, and not do much else as he done just there but I'm not going to complain with that. messed up a bit and they're spawning both of them but hopefully we can make the most of the area damage. There you go, without a doubt that was a perfect showcase of how the build really works when enemies are grouped together, such as for example you're in Midtown and you get the Sinister Six spawning, let's say, and they're all grouped together, you're whittling them all down really quick, which is nice, it all adds up. Well maybe even, we'll go for it and in this next stage we'll spawn two of them again then, why not? See why not, I'll probably find out in a moment.
There we go, that went really well. I'm very happy with that. If you can group up the bosses, it's it's just fantastic. In time as well, I've, as I've mentioned in my other videos, in time as well, once we can push our crit rating and also brute rating high enough for single targets, we'll simply switch out one of these skills. Most likely I would switch out strafe because I wouldn't want to lose the vulnerability or weaken and we could drop in air ammo and with the bonus crit damage and brute damage you would really get the benefits of that with a high crit rating and brute rating so we could then switch between AOE and single target that's the initial idea I had for the build but the gear and the game isn't quite there yet to actually support it but I'm looking forward to the point it is and hopefully Omega items will be that point but here we go for the, the final boss let's see how we got on You may have wondered why I was keeping my range there, but it really appears to be the, the key when fighting him is that kick he does when he throws out the two swords that can one-shot you. He's got limited range and Star-Lord's range is actually further than it, so that's the reason for that. I know it doesn't look great because he's out screen most of the time, but it's better than getting downed. There we go, we actually made that look relatively easy there. The whole thing with this fight is it can be an absolute nightmare, but you can see I was making the most of Star-Lord's uh, range, which is fantastic. I think it's up there with Hawkeye, maybe even better than Hawkeye, how far he can actually fire from, and also using the dash only when I needed it, really. And on top of that, when I'd used the dash and it came for me, using the invisibility on the med kit for a couple of seconds to for Groot to pull the aggro form as well so that worked really well and I'm happy enough with that if you're interested in the build you can check out details of it on the item base and there's a link to that below so thanks for tuning in for this video and I'll see you all again soon